presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to switch which output the Pro Presenter UI controls. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. This is something that occurred to me as I was going through some of the hacks that uh, Brad Zimmerman came up with on how to show different numbers of lines on different outputs and also how to carry over um, formatting from one output to the other. It occurred to me that there might be a circumstance where you want to change which output controls what uh, the UI controls which output. That's the better way to say it. So um, let me show you what I mean, the circumstances where maybe you'd want to do this, and then I'll show you how I did it. So let's head over to my computer and uh, take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter, and let's say that uh, you're in this situation where you've got a lower third that only has two lines, but your main output has four. So you would want to have the UI control the one with two lines so that you know to advance things appropriately. So here just to show you a little bit better, the UI here in the easy view mode, you can see that it's two lines of amazing grace versus on the main output that is actually four lines. But if we go to our um, alpha output here, which we're going to pretend is the one that's going to the live stream, then you'll notice that it has two lines. That's all well and good. You could set that up ahead of time and you'd be fine. But what if when you got to um, the message, you actually wanted to have the output that is for the full screen, which is in person, you wanted to control that one and have the lower third, which is maybe a little bit harder to read, uh, going out to the, your live stream and you weren't actually controlling that or you're not seeing that over here. So in this case, if I go to my main alt, you'll notice that I've got a problem in that I've I need to change the setting here um, for the theme that I'm using. But if I go to the live stream, not live stream, if I go to the alpha output, then it's not showing the lower third like I want it to. So the way you solve this, of course, is to have multiple looks presets. So let's do just that. Let's go into screens, edit looks, and let me create a couple of presets. I'm just going to hit the plus there. And so look preset number one, let's call this, uh, this one worship. And let's call this one message. Just whatever makes the most sense to you. So for the worship one, uh, first off, I don't want the announcement layer on either of those outputs. So that's good to go. Um, and same for the message is I don't want the announcements layer. And the reason that I don't is just, it's my circumstance because this is coming out of the announcements layer. So you might not have to disable that. Okay, now what I wanted was I wanted the lower third during Amazing Grace to be in the UI. So I'm going to leave this Ghostbusters symbol indicating that I'm not doing anything special to it. So that's the one that I see here on the UI. And for the main out, I'm going to choose my uh, full screen output, which is 
this one right here. So we see that alpha is showing that, and now if I go to main alt, it's showing that. So the reason that I'm doing that, of course, is because this has four lines, and if I was looking at this over here, I might not change between the two nearly as quickly as I needed to. So if I preview this one, I know after, uh, like me, that I would switch to that one. So that makes perfect sense. But when I go back over here, Again, we go back to Edit Looks, and I go to the Message one. In this case, what I need to do is I need to do um, the exact opposite. Let me make sure. Yeah. So I need to change it for this one to the lower third. So that one needs to be there, and I need to make sure that I have the theme that I want to see over here. So I'm going to right-click and do Command-A, and then I'm going to apply the theme that I want, Theme Editor. Oops, sorry right click and go to themes and the theme that I want is um, the message full screen theme okay so that's there right there now having set that up where the the main theme over here is the lower third theme and the main theme here is the larger theme, then I need to make sure that I right-click and I add an action. Actually, let me just click on that to make sure that I don't have things set up. I'm going to add an action, audience look, and since this is worship, I'm going to put the worship look on that slide. And then here... I'm going to right click, add action, audience look, message. So in practice, it looks like this. So this audience look has the lower third coming out, so I know to change it more often than the main out, which you'll notice has more lines on it so and if you want to learn how to do that I'm going to leave a link in the description below now when I go to the message I've got exactly the opposite thing where I want to see this on the main out and now when I go to the alpha out notice the lower third is down here so I'm looking at the main out now, whereas before I was looking at the lower third out. And that's how I do that, is I just decide where I want the normal Ghostbusters theme uh, symbol to be. And that's the one that I'm looking at here in the center. And then I make sure that I apply the alternate theme to the one that I don't want to be looking at right here. So that's how you do that. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just go to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Put in your name and email address, and that way I can create a login for you so that you can take that course for free. That's done automatically. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.